Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Google has just released Agent Development Kit or ADK. It is a flexible and modular framework for developing and deploying AI agents with ease. This ADK can be used with popular LLMs and open source tools and it is designed with a focus on tight integration with Google ecosystem and Gemini models to be exact. ADK makes it really easy to get started with simple agents powered by Gemini models and Google AI tools while providing the control and structure needed for more complex agent architectures and orchestration. The good thing is that the project is open source available on GitHub and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Plus, this video is just to give you a hands-on introduction, installation and how to get started with this agent development kit and then after this video you should be able to create your own agents quite easily. I will be doing a few more videos on it because it is quite a big repo as I can see and there are a lot of things around it. Still, it's very very new because this was just released I guess yesterday or maybe in a couple of days ago properly. So let's get started. We will first install it and we will see how it works. Let me take you to my terminal. This is my VM which is sponsored by our very good friend that Mast Compute. If you're also looking to rent a VM or GPU or CPU on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description plus I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for a range of uh, GPUs first up let me quickly create a virtual environment with Konda you can use UV or you can go with simple Python virtual environment install in this ADK is very very easy. All you need to do is to just run this pip install google dash ADK and it is going to install it very quickly. And that is all the installation which you need to do. Now let me go to one of my local directory and this is where I am going to show you a code. One thing you need to take care of is that this ADK requires a specific project directory structure which is not hard all you need to do is to just create any directory of your choice so for example i am creating this multi-tool agent because i want to create an agent which will use multiple tools so that is why i have created this directory and then i'm just going to create an initialization file where i'm just importing the agent as you can see and don't worry i'm also going to show you this whole directory structure in my vs code once that's done, let's create two more files and then we will open it in our VS code. So the first file is where the actual agent code will be. The second file where we will have the environment variables. Let me open it in my VS code. And of course, you can use any editor of your choice. So this is how it looks like. This is the init.py which we created. It is just importing that agent which we have installed. And then this is our agent.py where our actual agent will be. Let me paste the code. Let me explain the code. It's very simple. We are just creating an agent with a couple of tools here. So we are importing these libraries. The first tool is where our agent will be able to get weather of a city. We will just pass it a city name. It is going to return us the weather. And then the second tool is where it gets a current time. And then this is where we are uh, giving it a name. This is a model which we are going to use. This is the description of the agent and this is a system sort of prompt for the agent at what it needs to do. And it is going to use both of these tools. Now, if you are not aware of this agentic software, in very simple what happens is that whenever you want your AI application to do something in real time or if you want your AI application to look beyond the model's own training data and access some external data sources or external sources, you use tools with the help of agents. So agents are simple piece of software like this one where it is using couple of tools to access external sources for the additional data because for instance if I want to know what is the current weather in Sydney, Australia today LLM would be able to do it even if it is Gemini or even whatever model is. 
because that is not part of its data set and it can't really do the real time stuff similarly if i want to access my company's own database that is definitely not part of the llm's training data set unless someone has hacked into it and uh, released it on the internet so if i want to do that i would just use these functions or tools to access that external source and this is what agent does the user just writes a natural language query then llm converts it into a function call or tool call and then the tool is called with our application returns the data llm processes it and then llm uses its own intelligence to answer us this is what uh, this all fuss is about around agentic software so this is where we have defined our agent we have uh, also uh, created this dot env file where we need to give it the api key because we will be using google's gemini model so what you would need to do you would need to just go to this google ai studio at ai studio.google.com sign up or sign in with your free google account and grab your api key um, it, it has got very generous credit so that should be more than enough for your play around so just go to this ai studio.google.com and uh, you can also just find the link in that repo which i will drop link in videos description so i'm hoping that you already have your api key so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put my api key in dot env file so this is where you need to put in your key so we are not using google's vertex ai we are just using the google ai studio so that is why you just need to paste your key here if you are in gcp or google cloud platform and you are using their managed service for uh, machine learning and ai which is vertex ai you can put in your google cloud project id um, whatever location is the region basically and then put vertex ai true but i'm not using gcp so i will paste my key here and then save and exit okay so our agent has been built now let's run it there are three ways of running it you can create an api adk server which you can serve it on your network and i will do another video on it you can simply run it through cli and it will just show you in the cli but for the purpose of this video instead of cli i'm going to go with the third method where i will be using this adk web command and that simply launches a web ui so let me run this and there you go our application is now running at port 8000 at localhost let's access it there you go and then you can select your agent we have our multi-tool agent as soon as you select it you can just start talking with it so for instance you can ask it what is the weather in sydney press enter okay so it says not available anyway that is fine we can check it out later uh, but the cool thing is that you can click on this section to see what exactly is happening here you see it has made this function call and it has done these actions this is a long running tool id and this is a flow this was the event this was the actual request which was made to this model and this was uh, what happened behind the scene and this is a response which was returned so this makes it really really good now when you click on event this was the first event this was the second and this was the third so you can even scroll down from the top and you can simply click on x and this takes you back and these are the conversation this is a state this is artifact session if you create it of course and you can have multiple sessions i'm not sure if it uh, supports any memory at the moment i couldn't find it but anyway okay so let's try out one more maybe i will ask it here what time is it it says which city you're interested in maybe i'll go with new york there you go so it has given us the current time from new york and this was the event so if i click on it again this is what it did and then you can check the response and it is really i would say a blessing for the troubleshooting these agentic software and then you can create a new session you can delete this one but this whole idea of creating agents with simple python code 
and then uh, in real time checking out what exactly they are doing i think this is fabulous uh, i believe google is now picking up their game not only in terms of large language models like we saw their gemma 27 billion one which was one of the best models i have seen in a long time and long time means i would say three weeks and then this agentic tool i think this is one of the best tools in terms of ai open source one from google which i have seen in some time that's it let me know what you think i'll be creating more videos on it so stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching